Boston, Massachusetts, Dayton, Ohio, Seattle, Washington, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and San Francisco, California. What the heck do these five seemingly random cities have in common? The answer? Trolley buses. The question? What will the trolley bus's retirement mean for the residents of Boston, Massachusetts? Much to the chagrin of many Boston Transit fans, the trackless trolleys will soon be but a memory. Why is this significant? Let's start from the beginning. The day is April 11th, 1936, and the Boston Elevated Railway, or BERY, has opened its first trackless trolley line. The new line ran on the present day 69 from Harvard Square to Lechmere. BERY added more trackless trolley lines, and eventually, there were lines in Boston, Arlington, Brookline, Chelsea, Everett, Newton, and Revere. However, the BERY was succeeded by the MTA in 1947, and in 1964, the MTA was replaced by the MBTA. Now, in winter 2022, only three trackless trolley routes are still active. Those being the 71 from Harvard Square to Watertown Square, the 73 from Harvard Square to Waverly Square, and the occasional 77As, which are pullouts and pullbacks to and from the car house. So why is the MBTA replacing these trolleys? Well, Starting on March 13th, 2022, the cities of Watertown and Cambridge are doing roadway work, and it's scheduled to take up to five years to complete. Because of this, the trackless trolley service would need to be suspended anyways. In this five-year span, the T will buy battery electric buses, or BEBs, as an almost zero-emission replacement. <coughs> they are scheduled to enter service in 2024. The T will also retrofit North Cambridge Car House into a BEB facility during the construction. Even though this fleet of trackless trolleys is indeed in need of a replacement, MBTA could still get cleaner and better vehicles for this trackless trolley environment. Dayton, Seattle, and San Francisco have all bought IMC trackless trolleys, or in-motion charging trolleys. These buses are battery assisted which means that they can run off wire so that they can dodge any potential construction. Also, this roadway construction could be a time used to replace the old wires with new wires that are compatible with the IMC buses. So, how will the retirement of the trackless trolleys affect other transit in Boston? Well, getting rid of the North Cambridge trackless trolleys could very likely lead to a quicker elimination of the Silver Line trackless trolleys on the other side of town. The Silver Line DMAs are already slated to be replaced by XDE60s in the near future. But don't fret, they still have about one to two years left in service. I do like to believe that the MBTA could have definitely researched better replacements for the trackless trolleys. Though these looming BEB replacements are cleaner than diesel buses, they are not 100% exempt from diesel emissions. Only to add to it, during the construction, the T will run diesel buses on the 71 and 73. But it's impossible to find the perfect replacement. And we should not spend time reminiscing on what the MBTA could have done. Instead, this day, March 12, 2022, we remember the North Cambridge trackless trolleys, who represent the tail end of a deep legacy of trolley buses on the MBTA. Long live the trackless trolleys.